the sum of two numbers. The first one squared and the second is 27. The product is a max. So what are we maximizing? We are maximizing a product. How many numbers are we dealing with? Two. So we want to, our product, let's call it P, is equal to, isn't it two numbers? Isn't product means multiply? The product equals x times y. That's my primary equation. Got it? We are max, we look at what we're maximizing, that's our primary. Is that okay? Now we need a secondary due to the other information because from this, you have an x and a y. We don't want x and y. We don't want only x's or only y's. Now according to this information, we can make a secondary equation. Because the first, let's just call x first, is that okay? y the second. What's it say? The sum of the first number squared and the second is 27. So the first number squared, the sum means plus the second, what does that equal? 22nd. Isn't that our secondary equation? Is that our second bit of information if we're trying to maximize x and y? Is there secondary? Okay. Now, would you rather this be an x's or y's? I see this and go, hmm, would it be easier to solve this for y or x? It's a lot easier to solve for y. So I'm going to minus the x squared over, get y equals 27 minus x squared. Can I then take this and have a little trip and plug it right there? Thus, my new primary equation is now x times 27 minus x squared. Does my new primary equation only have x's? Could I find a maximum p? Yes. So if I want to maximize my profit, I'm going to do, I'm going to, this time I'm going to do pre, p prime. Okay. Meaning the derivative of p. Oh, would it have been easier maybe to distribute the x real quick? Would that be easier than doing product rule? I think so. So it would be 27x minus x cubed. Is that okay? So the derivative of this would be what's the first part? 27. And the derivative of this would be minus 3x squared. <coughs> Don't we set that equal to 0? Could I pull out? Uh, never mind. 27 minus 3x squared. And when we solve this, do we end up with like x squared equals 9? Does that look right? You're going to move over this, divide by 3. So what's x? x is positive or negative 3. Now, I believe this question, I didn't put it here, but I, I think it's talking about only integers. Sorry, only whole numbers. So it's only dealing with positive and neg positives. Can we ignore the negative 3? If it said integers, it could be positive or negative. Got it? Let's focus on only the positives. Are we okay with that? Actually, let's do both. Let's do both. You'll see. You'll see. <coughs> but um, how do we make sure that these are maxes and not mins? Would it be pretty easy to take the second derivative in this situation? Instead of making intervals, would it be easier just to do that second derivative? I think so. Wouldn't the second derivative of, I don't need the x, I just did for some dumb reason. Wouldn't that be negative 6x? Well, here's why I did it. Because now can't we do this? Plug in 3 and also do the second derivative at negative 3. And won't the second derivative give us max or min? 
When you plug in 3, what do you get? When you plug in negative 3, don't you get positive 18? If this is negative, doesn't that mean it's concave down? What does that tell you about it? Isn't that a max? If it's positive, isn't that concave up? So isn't it a min? Can we ignore the negative 3? Isn't that your minimum? So wouldn't this be my important one right here? Do we know that 3 is now the maximum? 3 gives me my maximum. But what's my question asking? What are the two numbers? So which equation would we use, go back to, to find my y value? Well, does this help me? No, because I don't know my product. Does this one? Can I go plug in x, find y? Can I go back to x squared plus y equals 27, and what's x? x we said is 3. So what's y equal? Well, that's going to be 9 minus it over 18. Does 18 times 3 will be my largest number? Given this scenario where you square the smallest plus another number equaling 27, using that as a basis, the numbers 3 and 18 are my answer. They're the only set of numbers that follow this and they give you the maximum product. And the, ma and the product, whatever 3 times 18 would be.